hi guys what's up how you doing i hope you guys are doing amazing because i am flourishing as you guys can see so in today's video i'm going to be answering a question that someone asked me in my last q a but i wanted to answer it like in a different video and that is let me read the question out okay um the question is now that it is jackpot season is it an option for you or you're fine being here no matter what okay Thank you so much for this question. This question came from Somi, Shades of Somi here on YouTube. You guys know her very beautiful Somi. Like, please go and subscribe to her channel if you haven't subscribed already. She's Nello's sister-in-law. She asked me this question in my last Q&A and I decided to just answer it in a different video because I have some things that I want to, you know, talk to you guys about that. I'll call this a mini life update, okay? Yeah, that's what it is. A mini life update, okay? So, forget that I'm wearing green, no, I'm not being patriotic right now. Forget this green. This green means money, okay? I am loyal to money. <laughs> I am following the bar, okay? Anyway, um, jokes aside, um, it is jackpot season, yes. A lot of people are leaving this country. It is no news. Like, it has been jackpot season for the past maybe five, ten years, okay? But at least, I, I think after pandemic, <laughs> it was like everybody and their grandma left okay and in case you guys don't know and i'm sure many of you don't know but my brother my other brother is now in canada he relocated he jackpot he left me here my younger sister who jackpot first okay <laughs> she's also in canada with her family as well and her kids and everybody okay my brother actually jackpot with his wife so him and his wife my beautiful sister-in-law she is in canada as well right now to be honest okay i've done i think i've done a video like this before in the past maybe two or three videos like this talking about oh whether i want to leave or why i don't want to leave or whether i want to go for my kids or not go for my kids like i have i've had so many reasons why i did not want to go before okay and those are very strong reasons most of the reasons why i don't want to leave this country are actually very strong reasons in fact for me to still be here today it means that those re reasons are actually very strong reasons because if i wanted to leave a long time ago I would have okay because i knew i had the opportunity to go earlier like i had the opportunity to start the process earlier because i knew when people, many people were doing the process but i did not you know join the point is i have strong reasons for wanting to remain back in nigeria those reasons are still valid those reasons are still there that is why people are still seeing me here today however i am reconsidering it like if before i was considering it like 20 mm, percent 80 percent you know in favor of staying in nigeria 20 percent in favor of living now it is like 90% in favor of living, 10% in favor of staying in Nigeria, okay? And some of the reasons why I have been considering it is, one, after my brother and my sister left, I now had a more first hand experience of what it is like to be living outside the country, okay? First hand because I'm not living there, so I can't say it is first hand experience, but judging from my sister judging from my brother all the things they've said you know how their life has been since they left how they have been able to settle down things that they are going through the good the bad the ugly everything that i have seen and heard happen with my brother and sister which is basically like first-hand experience has made me see that you know actually moving to canada is not as bad as i thought if if you are very very qualified okay so my sister is a chartered accountant my brother is a tech bro okay i don't know what to call my brother he's an engineer <laughs> he's a software he's a programmer okay yeah i think that's what they call him yeah that's what he is basically okay and not just not only is he that okay he's one of the best like when they say oh our best brains are leaving the country it's my brother they're talking about okay when they say our best brains in finance are leaving the country it's my sister they're talking about okay so if you have a best brain like that, and, and I'm not joking, I mean like in the world though, in the world, I might even mean like in Nigeria, I mean in the world, I'm not even being humble about it, okay? I'm not even trying to be humble about it, okay? They're my brother and sister, so I am, I am allowed to brag about them, right? My sister got a good job pretty quickly in Canada. My brother, in fact, my job career I'm good here, okay? Basically, like one of the top big, com big companies in the world, one of the biggest companies in the world basically like when you're talking about oh this big company in the world one of them is actually the one that handpicks my brother from nigeria okay 
his visa delayed for like two years. They left his job for him until, you know, his visa came out and he left. So he did not just go through the struggle way. He didn't go, he, he, no, he didn't struggle to go there. Like he, he went through one of the best ways to actually relocate. My sister actually went through one of the best ways to, to relocate as well. Um, she went to the PR means, my brother went to the job means, but that is job. It's not even like a normal job. It's like one of those correct, correct jobs. Like job that they even couriered his things from Nigeria to Canada. You don't see that kind of job before. Where they, where they actually carried his things. Like they helped him carry his things from Nigeria to Canada, okay? Anyway, the reason why I'm saying all of this is that seeing how my brother and my sister relocated and how their life is going right now in Canada, the thing started to hungry me. I said, hey, it's just that me, I don't know whether I will call myself. <laughs> I don't know that I'm among the best brains when it comes to anything, you know, in that, in that regard, like any professional thing. I'm, I won't call myself the best brain, any of those things, because I don't even get any profession when it comes to professional, you know, route, okay? So... I, I, I know that it will not, it can't work, it might not work for me the way it worked for my brother and my sister. However, I still want it, okay? And not, okay, now, part of the reason why I want it is not even because of, oh, Canada is such a great place. No, it's because my sister and brother are now there, and I'm not the only one in Nigeria. Okay, my younger brother is still here, though, with my mom, but it now feels like I'm the only one here in Nigeria. Like, I'm not like, okay, my sister has gone, my sister in law has gone. So, which other female now? It will I say it's my family member that is here, besides my mom, because believe me, you, these are the closest people to me, my mom, my sister-in-law, and my sister, okay, these are the closest people to me, aside friends, or I mean relatives, my closest relatives are my mom, my sister, and my sister-in-law, right? My mom even wants me to leave, like, my, in fact, hey, if I want to make my mom's dream come through, let me just tell her now that I'm carrying Cora and Eva and Sophia to Canada, my mom will roll on the floor. My mom's always telling me that I should carry my children out of this country. This country does not fit them. They're not fit to grow in this. <laughs> like, this country does not fit my kids. And my kids should be one of those super, super kids, okay? That's how she feels. But I understand where she's coming from. But at the same time, it, it's not that straightforward, okay? So, so because my sister and my brother are there, and I now, I think I felt it. When people are going, friends or anybody, or I see people online that they talk about, it does not, it does not move me one bit. Like when I even see people from relocating to Canada, all those vlogs, I don't even watch them because I, I really don't care. I'm not interested. Like so, it, it doesn't to move me before when people say, oh, they've gone. Even people that I knew before, like oh, your friend just relocated. Some don't even tell me they relocated. So I just saw videos and pictures of them in Canada and stuff like that. It didn't even pinch me one, one tiny really little bit. Okay, but the moment my brother, in fact, the moment my sister left. It's pinched me halfway. My brother now left. It pinched me the remaining halfway, okay? Not the remaining half, but what my stand on left. It now pinched me very well. It was not like, ah, I'm now left alone back in Nigeria. So it started make, making me reconsider, right? However, okay, the major reason why I am reconsidering staying back in this country is because of the coming elections. If Peter B does not win, eh? If Peter B does not win, I am going to actively try to leave this country. If anybody but Peter B wins that election, eh? Count me out. Like I'm done. Like that's the end. I don't I, I, I don't want to be in Nigeria of the next president that is not Peter B. Okay, I don't want to be in that Nigeria. Okay, so to answer the question, yes, I am considering it. Um even though I'm not actively working towards it, I'm considering it, but I am not going to be in Nigeria no matter what. It's not, it's not going to happen. Like, it's not a no matter what situation. It's a situation of, you know, things changing in this country, okay? Because at the end of the day, I'm quite comfortable in Nigeria. Don't get me wrong. I'm quite comfortable in Nigeria because thankfully, my husband has a good... Well, even as my husband has a good job, he has a good job, but you know, when you think about it, as the dollar is rising, the, the, the salary, they reduce. But at least for Nigerian standard, he has a good job. Me, I am blessed because I earn in dollars, which is, you know, from YouTube and all of that. So I'm blessed. But at the same time, when you convert that dollar to Naira, you are still going to spend it all because the Naira has really devalued. So you are still going to spend it all. If you were buying things of 500 Naira before, you are going to buy them of 1,000. So at the end of the day, as much as you're not losing money, you're not actually better off, you know. You're not better off. You're just normal. You're just the way you were. You, you were. You're not going down, okay, as for, like, people... That you're not going down like people who earn in naira you're not going down but for people who earn in dollars you are just where you are you're not really making progress okay does that make sense yeah so as much as that is that as much as oh we stay in a good environment i really like port harcourt 
I, like, in fact, the last visit I did to Lagos, I was just like, nope, 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 nope. Thank God I don't live in Lagos. You know, so I feel like, I feel like all things being equal, I'm in a good place. Okay. However, it is not my dream. Okay. I have a dream for myself. I have a dream, you know, amount of money I want to be making. My husband should be making. I have a dream of education I want for my kids and Nigeria is not really giving me all of that right now even though I can still manage however if Peter B does not become president yeah you are going to see me here I'm going to ask you guys to come and give me tips <laughs> on how to live <laughs> I don't need to come and ask you guys I actually know how to if I want to it shook me when they left too it felt like a part of me like a huge part of me left um, it now made me feel like I should go and stay in Canada so I'll be closer to them. Because now they are now closer to each other. Even though, yes, you're in Canada, but it's not like people are seeing yourself every weekend, you know. And that's part of why um, initially when they left or when I was thinking of, oh, my brother and sister are going to leave, I was telling myself, well, even though they leave, it's not like as if now, it's not like when they were in Nigeria, we were seen every weekend. We were still seeing once a year, tops, max. In fact, once in two years, at some point, you know, that's how we were, that's how we were seeing each other. So it's not like, oh, them going to Canada, then I'll stop seeing them every weekend for brunch like I used to see them before. No, that was not the case. So the same way, like I'll still go and visit them in Canada. So the same way I was seeing them once a year or twice, once a year in Nigeria, the same way I'll still see them once a year, you know, in Canada. However, that physical distance, even though it is not a relationship distance like i don't want to explain what i'm trying to say anyway that physical distance knowing that that physical distance is there you know it's not making me feel some type of way i started feeling like i was left behind like i should have actually tried to move so that i would go and stay with them but again all this i'm even saying i'm talking as if it's only me i have a husband to consider okay does he want to move has he been laid in my spirit that i have to move you know all these things are things that i need to consider before i now start you know just upping and leaving because at the end of the day like i said my brother and sister, they went through a very good path, okay? I'm not about to go to another country and go and suffer for anybody. Like, it's not going to happen, you know. But that being said, um, if Peter B does not win the next election, <laughs> this Jack Piper talking about, people have not even seen Jack Piper's season. That one would be, eh? Like, <laughs> people will literally use leg and be crossing Sahara Desert. Like, the way I will go, hmm? You watch my video this morning where I'm going to markets to go and buy... Eh, 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 fish <laughs> you watch my video this morning where i'm going to market where i'm going to drop my children in school my next video you're going to see me already settled in canada with in fact as i'm watching this video self you don't even know whether i am already settled in canada i've already gotten school for my kids i've already furnished my house i've already gotten a job or, or i'll continue doing youtube for them you don't even know so that's how let me just tell people beforehand though in case you are thinking i will not give you sign then all of us will now move together eh, eh. but anyway let me know what you guys think in the comment section let me know you know your own plans i want to just like feel the pulse of the nation <laughs> through my subscribers i want to understand you know what's going on in most of you's mind like are many of you trying to leave? Um, have, have many of you made peace with, you know, staying in Nigeria for life? Or are you like me that is just like, I'm in Nigeria for now? That's, that's just basically the summary of all these things. I'm in Nigeria for now. If you see me in Nigeria, then I'm in Nigeria. If you don't see me in Nigeria, then I'm not in Nigeria. Like, this is what it is, okay? Yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.